Hi guys, it's Maura Paulette. Today we're going to read a book together. I really love this book. This is one of my favorite books. It's a lot of fun. It's called The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. He's the author. Maybe he's an illustrator too because it doesn't say. So maybe he wrote the book and also drew the pictures. Maybe some of you have read this before. Maybe some of you have not read this before. So it's your first time. So whether you read it or you didn't, I hope you enjoy. And I'm going to read the words first and then hold up the pictures. I'm going to try to show both at once, but I'll definitely show the pictures after I read the words. The title page, The Dot by Peter Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. That's funny. Vashti, just like in Purim, Queen Vashti. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher was being silly, right? She didn't really have anything on her paper. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There, she said. Jab means like when you take the marker really strongly and you go like that. Her teacher picked up the paper and looked at it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into the art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, and it was all framed in swirly gold. Oh, wow, our teacher put her drawing in a picture beam. So special. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that, said Vashti. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and got to work. I guess she wants something a little bit with more details to be in her picture frame. Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red. She discovered that she could make, what happens when we mix blue with red, guys? Right, a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many different colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. See, that's what she means. Because she colored in all the space around. So the dot is empty, right? That's pretty cool. So creative of her. It's a really big paper. Oh, wow. Look, guys. It looks like all her dots are hanging. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. That means that a lot of people really like them, see? There's a lot of people looking at them and looking at them carefully. I guess they found them really cool. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Who did that remind you of, guys? Right, Vashti also thought she couldn't draw in the beginning. But then her art teacher helped her out, right? Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me, she said. 
The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. I guess he's nervous. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, I wonder what she's gonna say about it. What do you guys think? You gonna say it looks like something? Let's say, please sign it. Just like our art teacher told her, right? The end. I really love that book. Vashti thought that she couldn't draw and she thought she wasn't a good artist, so she couldn't draw. But her art teacher taught her that she could do it. All she had to do was make a dot. Right, guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed this book. And you guys can even try to make some of your own dots. Like, in our book, Vashti had such cool dots. She had so many different kinds. She had big dots, little dots, dots with polka dots in them with different colors. She made a dot by not making a dot, right? She left that middle part empty. She had a dot with another dot inside of the dot. Wow, so cool. So maybe you guys could try it out. See what happens. Hope you guys enjoyed the book. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.